Hey guys, welcome to video four. So in this video, we're gonna be installing the sensor and it's pretty much the same thing as installing the server, but there is a few little changes that we have to make, a few little options and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and pop open your virtual box. So you should have your server set up from the last video and now we're gonna go ahead and install another server. So let me make sure I have up here, I wanna show you, I have my, my uh, ISO right here, so that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. And I'm gonna name this OSSIM sensor. Sensor, okay. And it is Linux and it runs on Debian, so I wanna do Debian 64-bit, okay. Next, I'm gonna make this about six gigs, that should be fine. Uh, two two CPUs. Just make sure you have you know everything uh, everything configured correctly, just to make sure everything works good. So in in our situation here, we're going to be doing six gigs and two proc uh, two processors. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, 15 gigs because we don't really need too much for the sensor. Okay. And make sure you put it fully allocated. That should be perfectly fine. Okay, so now we can hit finish here. We'll give that a moment to cook. And we can, once this is uh, done creating, it'll open up the virtual machine, just like how it did for any virtual machine you ever create. It should be, it should go a lot quicker than the server because the server was allocated a little more. I think it was like 25 gigs, yeah. So this is 10 gigs less. So it's not that big of a drive to fill up. So we'll give that a few moments to start cooking. All right, cool. So now, once this is up and running, I always like to double check, make sure everything is good. Just out of habit, I do this bi-directionally, even though it probably doesn't really matter. So system, we can go to motherboard, we can go to six gigs, processors two, everything is good here, okay? So let's go ahead and start this baby up. Start. All right, so once this is starting up, we can start installing it. So let's give this a moment. Okay, X out of here. Well, once it starts up, X out of this. And it's gonna go ahead and ask to browse out to the ISO, hit other, browse out to the ISO, hit open and mount and retry to boot. Once we retry to boot, we should see this now before we were installing the OSSIM. Now we're gonna be installing the server. So let's hit enter here. And we're gonna go through this process. So it's the same process as doing the server. You're gonna select your language, English, United States, American English, and it's gonna detect all the installs here and mount the disk and you know get the files res um, loaded. So let that give, give that a moment. And then once this is done, we'll go through the setup process. And normally the setup process takes as, just as long as the server. So be prepared to wait for about 15 to 20 minutes once, uh, once it starts installing. But we'll get there in this moment. So my IP address is going to be 192.168.100.151 for my sensor, okay? This is totally fine for me, totally fine. All right, so we'll give this a moment to cook. Once this is done, we should be moving on to the next step. Sometimes this takes a few moments to detect the link on Ethernet zero. So if you guys are familiar with Linux, ETH zero is going to be the first NIC that's associated with a Linux system. Maybe you have ETH0, ETH1, ETH2. And on this server, once this is done, we're gonna be installing another uh, network interface card on this sensor box in order for the network intrusion detection to work. So the NIDs, we need to have, it's pretty much like a span port on a switch. We just have to put it in this lab and make sure all the network traffic is is being seen by this inter by that interface, but we'll talk about promiscuous mode and all that stuff 
uh, shortly. So let this thing cook, and let's see once we're once we're good here. Okay, perfect. So now my password is going to be password, very secure. I just like to keep it simple in a lab environment just for simplistic sake. Because if I make a complex password, I just like to match all the passwords for the sensor, the server, everything I'm running in my lab environment, usually I leave the same password. But if you're running this in a production environment, obviously you would change it to something more complex and more difficult to guess or whatever. All right, so my, my time zone is Eastern. I'm totally fine with that. Okay, so now it's going to install the base system. So this is when you can go get your cup of coffee, go get your green tea like I'm gonna go do, and this takes probably about 15 to 20 minutes. So stay tuned and let's watch it wait. All right guys, so here we are, we're back at the login screen. So let's go ahead and log in, root, and then my fancy password, okay, so while that, is logging in. Let's go ahead. I want to go ahead and boot up my server as well, just so I can have both of them up. And I want to test connectivity and all that stuff. So we'll move this over here. And this is my sensor that we just installed. And we'll give this a moment to boot up the server. All right, let's bring this over here. And we'll give that a moment. So what we can do now uh, I want to go ahead and shut down the sensor for just for a second, and then I want to make some modifications. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into here. Let's go ahead and shut down appliance. Yes. So we remember we have to make those those network changes on the actual uh, settings. So we'll give this a moment to shut down, and then we'll give this a moment to boot up. All right, so we'll let the server boot up and then we'll let, we'll let the sensor shut down and give this a moment. All right, so the sensor is shut down. Let's go ahead and go to settings really quick. We just have to make some network changes. So our primary NIC is going to be bridge. I mean, excuse me, host only, okay? And then we have to add another NIC and which is gonna be host only as well, right? Host only. But with this, we have to have promiscuous mode on for all to allow that traffic, okay? This is the only difference from the server and the sensor, okay? So let's go ahead and enable that and let's go ahead and boot this bad boy back up. And once this boots back up, we can go ahead and test the connectivity. So let's go ahead and just log into here. We can do it from our server to our sensor. Okay, let's just boot that up. Of course, you can see it takes a few minutes to boot these machines up. So you have to be a little patient. All right, we'll give this a moment. And whenever it feels like it, it will come up eventually. We can do a countdown. Doom, 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 doom. Look at that, I'm pretty good. No, I'm not. All right, so now we have the Alien Vault uh, server up. So what we can do is test connectivity. Let me actually click inside here. What we can do is say system, uh, jailbreak system, and then yes, I want to continue, right? So with this, now we are going to be into a shell as you can see here, right? So if we want to test connectivity to our sensor, we can try to ping, ping 192.168.100.151. And we are pinging. So we are communicating. So we're good here. Let's just do a control C. And that pretty much concludes this video. So we have our sensor configured. We have our server configured, right? So let me go back to our fancy PowerPoint. And then next, we're going to be configuring the sensor and the server. Now we just got them up. And now we're going to have to do some configuration. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for viewing. Until next time, have a beautiful day. Thanks, guys.